What's up guys, welcome to Superwise, I'm John and we have a couple of interesting movie news stories to talk about today, but first, let's start off with Zack Snyder's Justice League. On his Twitter, Zack Snyder released a new official poster for his cut of Justice League, and I don't have much to say about it, it's pretty straightforward, but still, it's really cool to see the team together, it's a very epic image, I dig it. Okay, now let's talk about WandaVision, and yeah, what the hell is going on? Today, WandaVision director Matt Shackman did an interview with ComicBook.com, and ComicBook.com asked Shackman if Evan Peters' Pietro is actually Peter Maximoff from the Fox X-Men universe, and this is what he had to say. And I quote, We'll have to meet again some Monday in the future. So Matt Shackman is keeping it extremely vague, but he's sort of hinting to the fact that, yeah, this is a possibility. This Pietro could be Peter Maximoff from the Fox X-Men universe. And as a fan, I want him to be Peter Maximoff. I mean, I guess it'd be cool to see Pietro as Mephisto or Nightmare, like the big reveal of who he really is. That's stunt casting, that's clever misdirect, but it'd be disappointing in my eyes if they cast Evan Peters and it's, it was just stunt casting. I want him to be the X-Men version. And we know that WandaVision ties directly into Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness and Spider-Man No Way Home. So maybe WandaVision opens up the multiverse in the finale and we learn that this Pietro is actually Peter Maximoff from the X-Men movies, and maybe we see a Toby cameo. I don't know. It's it's all really, like, wishful thinking. We'll never know for sure until this Friday. So, I don't know. Agatha said that he's Pietro, fake Pietro, and that she was just using Pietro as eyes and ears. So maybe she snatched Peter Maximoff from the multiverse and mind-controlled him there. I, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Also, Matt Shackman addressed what Paul Bettany said about the secret actor cameo in the finale, and what he had to say was actually pretty interesting. Basically, what he had to say is that Paul Bettany dug himself a hole, and now he's got to get himself out of it. Basically saying that there is no secret actor cameo, and Paul Bettany was lying to us and hyping us up for nothing. And I don't know if, if I can believe this, because that's kind of rude. I would figure that Matt Shackman would have a nicer way of saying that. I think that Matt Shackman is trying to deceive us, that there actually is a secret actor cameo, and what Shackman just said, it, it, he's trying to throw us off. He's trying to deceive us, because I don't think he'd be that rude to Paul Bettany. I mean, they work together. They should be nice Listen, Hollywood is a place of lies and deception. Remember when Tatiana Maslany was confronted by a bunch of interviewers, they asked her if she was She-Hulk, and she said, Nah, nah, no, no way, that's not true. I'm not She-Hulk. And then at Disney Investor Day, Oh, Tatiana Maslany is She-Hulk. When people are interviewed, they don't want to give away anything. They want to play coy. And I think that's the case with Matt Shackman. Shackman also said that the finale might be disappointing because of all of our fan theories and we're going to be let down, which, yeah, you know, I want Tobey Maguire to show up at the end of this thing, but there's a good chance that he might not. And we have to take ownership of that. We have these wild, crazy fan theories that we want so bad to be true that when they don't happen, we're like, what the hell? You know, we just have to accept that. So hopefully WandaVision's finale will blow us out of the water. Hopefully there is a secret cameo. I think there is. And we'll just have to wait and see. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That will be all for me, guys. And remember my catchphrase, guys. Stay super wise.